Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be unboxing three boxes. Unplugged book box, either me create and so kawaii box. Let's unbox the unplugged book box first. So this is the November box and um, I have no idea what is the thing because I've been away for a while and I forgot what it is and this is how it looks like okay the thing for the young adult November box is found family as usual spoiler card put that aside for now okay I am gonna decor the first thing I see this looks like socks Alright, okay, uh, what is it? Found family, that's the theme. Okay, we have long socks with some picture of, I don't know, that's a maze, I think, some mushrooms. It, it looks really whimsical. There's like a house there. I don't know what this is based on but we will find out later on. I love wearing long socks, so this is really nice. We have a fairy fruit. Ooh, ooh, I thought it was coffee, but it's not. It's actually a 24K gold face mask. And uh, yeah, so you have to do some of those there. Scoop a tablespoon of the mask powder into a bowl. Add your choice of serum, water, or stir, and stir quickly to form a gel. Apply evenly on the face, leave for 20 minutes, rinse off with water. Nice, this is nice. I would love to sniff it actually. But yeah, I've, I've been um, starting a new skincare routine and uh, I would love to add this to the routine. A little crushed box, but I hope the content is okay. It is a candle. Yes. Ah, I've always. Uh, <laughs> I love this uh, little candle package. Don't know where you can see it. And I love that the top, the cover as well, has like little design on it. Okay, so it says here Rush, Essence of Enchanted Adventure. And on the top, the magic. Uh, I can't see. I can't see. The magic something. The magic something. Alright. Let's take a sniff. Mm. Hmm. Smell is familiar. Oh, I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, it's, it's lovely. It's very subtle. I love it. And I love candles, so I'm not complaining. Oh. I just spoiled myself. Okay. <laughs> so we have this. Just drop something. Okay, ready? This is a wireless gaming mouse. There we go. We have the off and on switch. Oh, it has an LED mode. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, those are the switches for, um, oh, it's light, like bright light off and lower light. And there's LED here and there's, um, I need to read, I need to read about it. So this, it says here, born for gaming, mouse for gaming or office use. This is how it looks like. Okay. That's the scroller. And it is wireless, so I believe you have to charge it up. Comes with the USB um, wire and also the user manual. So yeah, this is really something new. I would give it a try, but um, maybe not now. This is this is interesting. This is interesting. I've, I've I never thought of um, getting a wireless gaming mouse in a book box, but yeah, there's always a first time. 
very shrink wrapped item so we're gonna have to cut this out so this is i believe a self-care product because um unplugged book box is also a self-care product box so ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, it's quite oily oh i'm so glad they shrink wrap this up okay oh okay it's very oily but i can't read okay so it is capes water um forests rain whispers salt scrub so you can you can try and get a read on it but it's really soaked in um the little salt scrub i believe there's some oil in it but um i'm gonna have to put this away um but um, I'm quite afraid to open it up but um, I am not going to open it up it might mess up my whole room so we have a salt scrub for the self-care item in the box and this should be the book it's um, in a very autumn kind of plastic I haven't seen it I haven't seen it ready so plastic wrapped in plastic and we will remove this plastic it is we could be villains is this sci-fi seems like sci-fi it seems like sci-fi right here we go we could be villains by megan maculo mccullo this is the cover this is the bag That is really nice and that is spread edges black or like dark grey spread edge and we have really nice oh wow this is nice this is nice okay let's see if it is signed oh this is signed there we go I have, I have a feeling it's sci-fi <gasps> oh, crap. it's nice. All right, we have okay, okay, hold on, hold on, chill. Okay, so this is the inside, the hot cover. Oh, wow, it's really nice. Can you see the gold foiling on this? This is really cool. Even the back. Oh, okay, so. We have some buildings here, like skyscrapers with the uh, night sky. And at the back, it says Rosemary Collins, um, unplugged exclusive. We have some signatures at the side. Who signed this? Is it like a character or I don't know. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh this is, this is really fun. Okay. And we have a reversible dust jacket. All right, okay, so those should be the main characters. Spotlight, this is the villain. This is the villain, look at his face. He looks, he looks really cheeky, you know? There's a spotlight, spotlight there. And we have those signatures. I, it might be the signatures of the designer for this book cover i don't know i'll find out so that is all the items let's just go through the spoiler card really quickly so we have the candle we have the mouse oh 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 these are alice in wonderland socks this is okay that's cool raven cycle salt scrub cruel prince face mask and this month's book okay oh okay yes yeah. so this the signatures are by whimsical illustrations so those are the um i think the signatures done by the illustrations illustrators so yeah that is from the unplugged book box young adult november box um i really love it actually it is it's really subtle but i love it don't know how to feel about this but i think this is really interesting if I don't use it, 
because my um, work desk is in mint. My husband's desk is all black, so he might he might actually appreciate this, and he play games. So win win, right? All right, so let's move on to the next box. Ella McRae, and I believe this is also the November box, which I totally forgot what is it about. That is how it looks like. Okay, so I will put this down. Okay, here we go. All right, it is some kind of monster. So that is the theme for the November box, uh, young adult for Illumicry. So the, <laughs> the first thing I see is something really nice. Feels like those, oh, do you see that? Uh -huh. Okay, there's something at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see it. If you can't, I'm gonna read it to you anyway. So, um, you're a hero and I'm a monster, she whispered. There's only one way that story ever ends. The quote is based on a book called Only a Monster, I think, by Vanessa Lam. And this is a tea team. This is cool. This is how it looks like. I haven't read the book, so I'm not sure of all these characters, but yeah, this is pretty cool. And I like that the color is really close to my um, work desk theme. <gasps> That's a seal, like, so that it won't go stale or whatever. go okay nice I can put it here on my desk I'll think of something to fill it up with but this is really cool that's the first item okay so it is like a, I don't know it's like some tassels over there it's with a blanket it might not be a blanket I don't know is it like a tea towel might be too big for a tea towel. Oh, it's the um, what do you call it? Tablecloth? Is it? The one that goes in the middle, table rug, table runner? Is it? It's really long. Oh, it's not that long, but yeah. So that's what we saw. And it, these are like plants, I think. Like different types of, is that a bird? It's like a bed. Um, we have some snowflakes, I think. Either that or I'm holding it upside down. I don't know what animal that is. What is that? Is it this one? It looks like a beaver. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but um, or is it a scuff? Is it a scuff? We'll find out. I really don't know. But right now, I'm just going to put it on as a scarf. Alright. Uh -huh. There we go. The... Scolomans. Can't see. Scolomans. We have... I don't know. It's like a layer. Like, I don't know. Um, we have an open book there. We have a skull. We have a door. We have this thing over here it's a tote bag it's plain at the back it's a decent tote bag it's a decent tote bag i have a lot of tote bags but yeah we have a tote bag so we go next one is in a drawstring bag um you see a sword it is <laughs> oh it's really nice okay Let's see. Let's 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 get it out of the thing. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, it's fancy. Ooh, I love it. Oh, this is nice. And I don't know if you can see it in the middle of the blade. It's really glittery, like shiny. 
maybe I move it this way. There we go. Oh, this would be good for um, letter openers. <laughs> I have one like this. Oh, this is nice. I wonder what it's um, you know based on. Like, what book? Oh, I really love this. This is really nice. All right, here we go. We have. What is this? We have this thing that I'm showing you. Okay, so we have two of the same thing. It says here a paper craft kit designed by Rosie Thorns, exclusive for Illumicrate, based on the ninth house by Le Bardugo artwork. I've not read the book, but yeah, okay, so this is based on the ninth house. That's the bag, it's really cool. And um, oh, no. So it's a paper craft. So we have um, the craft kit, paper craft kit over here. Okay, and I'm pretty sure you're supposed to remove these. And we have the instruction over here, alignment guide. And it is supposed to look like this at the bottom with this as a background. So it's like a 3D kind of thing once you put that up. Oh, that's really cool. It's a shame that I don't know the character because I haven't read the book. I don't even have the book. So yeah, that's really cool. It's the one that I've been looking forward to, especially it's from Illumi Crate. It is the book. Okay, ready? Ready? Is this the right way? Yep, I think so. Oh, it's always so pretty. The luminaries. Oh, that is so nice. By Susan Dennard. 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 I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Gold foiling, same as the um, Unplugged Book Box book. Oh, even the spine looks so pretty. Are you ready? Ta da! Ooh! It's really nice. It's so pretty. The forest is dangerous for a luminary untrained. What does that mean? Oh, I'm looking forward to this. This looks interesting. Oh, the end pages. Oh my gosh. It's really nice. Look at that forest. Is that a forest? I think so, yeah. So pretty. Pretty sure it's the same for the back as well. Is it? Yep, it's the same for the back. And. <gasps> Yay! It's so pretty. What does it say? Nightmare Compendium. We have two wolves over there. Oh, howling. Up the night sky at the moon. Oh, it's really nice. It's nice, it's really nice. At the back, it says the comprehensive guide to Hemlock Falls nightmares. All the quotes are really interesting, so I'm really looking forward to reading this book. And that is all from the box, and we're going to find out some of the items where it's from so it's Escalon sword replica uh, it's oh it's the lost sword from priory of the orange tree i've not read that book it's really it's a really thick book i have it and then we have oh there we go we have the frozen wilderness scarf i am right it is inspired by the winter night trilogy okay and then we have the Gateway to Freedom tote bag, um, inspired by Deadly Education. And then we have the Monster Inside Titin, which is inspired by Only a Monster. There we go. Alright, nice. Okay, and we have the book as well. So that is all from the Illumicrate box and I'm really loving this card so I'm gonna carry on putting it on me while we unbox the last box which is so kawaii and the last time I unboxed this um, 
I gave two of the items to my niece. So let's see if I have to do that again. This is the box. I love it. It's so cute. It does so well with the box. So the November box is Sweet Kawaii Fantasy. Spoiler. The back. Okay. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this. A luggage tag. A Hello Kitty luggage tag, which I cannot find the opening of this. So it's here. All right, ready? There we go. Hello Kitty on a unicorn. Oh my god. This is so cute. Okay. I'm not a fan of Hello Kitty, but um, my sister is. Well, I don't think she's a fan of Hello Kitty, but we keep teasing her and um, we do at times get her like things from Hello Kitty. And uh, yeah, she ended up using it anyway, so probably give this to her. So next we have a keychain. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. We have a keychain. It's a Sanrio character. Um, it's Kuromi. There we go. Oh, this is so cute. There we go. Kuromi, one of the Sanrio characters. Um, I received the plushie last one from So Kawaii. That's the one that I gave to my niece. So maybe she can match up with um, a teaching. It's really cute actually. It's really nice. <gasps> Ooh, I see something really cute. It is a blind box. Don't know what this thing is called. Did I put it here? Sumikogurashi. Oh, Sumikogurashi. Is that the name? I don't know, but let's find out what we get. We have these choices. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, this is really cute. It looks like a prophecy. Oh, no, no. It looks like Humpty Dumpty. You know what? I want this one. Because it looks like a professor and I'm a teacher. <laughs> I'm not a professor, but I'm a teacher. And the color suits um, my theme. So it will go well. Oh, I hope I get that one. Ready? Oh, oh, it's not, but the color. This is so cute. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> it's in a coat oh my goodness it's so cute it reminds me of Humpty Dumpty with a bow tie oh that's so cute oh, it looks good here <laughs> that is very cute okay this purple thing in a box don't know what this is so we go and find out what is this thing it's, that is so secure. Okay, here we go. Don't know what this is. It is a uh, Sumiko Gurashi. It's the same one as the previous one. So, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to open it? Like, am I supposed to? What is this? Oh, oh, it smells so good. It's some sort of cream. Okay. All right, so I, there is like a lever here that I can... Uh, can I open it? I don't know if I broke it, but um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What am I supposed to do? I mean, there's cream in there, but what what is this? I'll find out, I'll find out. We have a really cute item. Is it a cup? Pokako. 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 It's a mug. It's glass. Oh. Oh, there we go. Reminds me of, um, reminds me of, uh, what's it called? Snoopy. Pokako. We have a mug. That's really cute. It's really, it's really nice. To, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's cute. There we go. That's the tail at the back. You can see it. All right. So we have a glass mug. 
And I believe this is the last item, yes. What is this? Cinema roll! I love cinema roll, it's so cute. What is it? Okay, okay, let's get it out of its misery. It is a pillow plushie. Oh, it's so cute. It's so soft. <laughs> I'm not giving this away. This is really cute. I love this. I love cinema roll. This is mine. This is really nice. Okay, that is the last item from So Kawaii, the November box. So we have the cinema roll cushion. There are a few that you could have gotten. My Melody, Cinema Roll, Pom Pom Purin, Hello Kitty, Kuromi, and Pokako. So it's at random. So I got Pokako and a okay th this ugh, annoying thing to open was it is a hand and nail cream okay that's cool i really need that and uh, you can also use it as a decorative item as it doubles as an acrylic stand so when you open this up you can put this on as a decorative of this yeah okay decorative acrylic stand apparently and you open it up and you can use for the for your hands and um, nails next one we have a sumi kogurashi blind box figure one of my favorites that is so cute we have the sunrio keychain there's um seven different random um characters that you can receive mine was kuromi and the last one is the Unicorn Hello Kitty. Oh, it's a name tag. Oh, which you can attach to your suitcase or bag. So it's a luggage tag. So yeah, that is that is all from the So Kawaii box. It is really kawaii, it's really cute. And, um, and that is also the end of my unboxing. It is really long, I'm really sorry. If you're here until the end, thank you so much for watching and um, I'm not really, I'm not really animated as um, of my previous videos because I'm not feeling too well, as you can tell from me sniffing and uh, yeah, it's really annoying. And also, I'm actually quite in a rush because in an hour's time, I will be heading for a staycation. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, once again, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.